Swift. 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 Ow. Ow. guys, Mrs. Kate's here. Today we're going to be rounding decimals. So go ahead and open up your notebooks and we're going to title our next page, Rounding Decimals. Now you should be very familiar with rounding because you did it a lot in fourth grade, but most of the time you were rounding whole numbers. So we're really going to focus on the decimals today. So, um, the way we want you to round decimals is to imagine your number on a number line. So we're going to be drawing a couple of number lines today. And you're going to imagine your number on a number line. Okay, so you might want to get out a ruler or a straight edge of some kind to draw your number lines. So I'm going to start with a number line. Don't make it too big. Okay, so for our first example, we are going to round the number 23 and 4 tenths to the nearest whole number. Okay, so looking at the number 23 and 4 tenths, we know that the whole number is going to be everything before the decimal. So this decimal is either going to round to 23 or it's going to round up to 24. So on our number line, we're going to put 23 on the left side and 24 on the right side. Now our number falls somewhere in the middle, so we need to determine where our number is going to be. Now, right in the middle, you should know, is going to be 20 three and five tenths, okay? That five tenths will be right in the middle. So then looking at our original number, you're gonna decide where on our number line is this number located. So 23 and four tenths is gonna be just one place to the left of our middle of 23 and five tenths. Oops. Okay. So if our number is located right here on our number line, we're asking ourselves, is it closer to 23 or is it closer to 24? And in this case, we can see that it is on the left side of the middle, so it's going to be closer to 23. So our answer here is 23. Okay, looking at another number line. We are now going to round 54 and 75 hundredths to the nearest tenth. Okay, tenth is in the decimals. So we're looking at our tenth, tenths place right here. So on our number line, on the left side is going to be 54 and 7 tenths if you were to round down. If we were to round up, it would be 54 and 8 tenths. So we have to decide where on our number line this number is located and see which one it is closest to. Well, right in the middle, okay, if we imagine this as 70 hundredths and 80 hundredths, the middle is going to be 54 and 75 hundredths because 75 is in the middle of 70 and 80. Now, you should notice that that is our original number. So our number is located right in the middle of our number line. So think back to um, your previous rounding and you should know that if it's exactly in the middle, a five, 
A five has the rounding rule to go up. So in this case, we are gonna round up to 54 and 8 tenths. One last example. We are going to round 3 and 129 thousandths to the nearest hundredth. Okay? Our hundredths place is located right here, the 2. So on our number line, we're going to make sure we include um, our value on the left, which is 3 and 12 hundredths, if we were to round down, and then 3 and 13 hundredths, if we were to round up. Right in the middle. Imagine this is 120 thousandths and this is 130 thousandths, we want to place 129 thousandths, okay? In the middle is going to be 3 and 125 thousandths. So 129 thousandths would be located over here, really close to the right side. Now this one's kind of obvious. We can obviously see which one it's closest to. So 3 and 129 thousandths rounded to the nearest hun hundredth is going to be 3 and 13, 3 and 13 hundredths. Okay, on the left hand side, you are going to do your own example. So I want you to round 7 and 196 thousandths to the nearest hundredth. Make sure you draw your number line and label each value. Good luck. <laughs>